Good morning. Good morning. Mekende numaga. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. <clears throat> I had an interesting conversation um, with my ex-husband yesterday. He keeps an eye on uh, the Massachusetts laws and regulations and he voiced to me how he's concerned about um, the language in two of them about um, the vaccinations and um, he is against um, taking the vaccination which is you know all glory to the Lord that he has a sound enough mind that he is able to um, make uh, a less ignorant decision about it so I I'm not sure I, I I I really hope that I planted a good seed um, yesterday with our conversation and I, I I let him know that you have authority in Christ you know um, because he didn't really understand I was basically using the language of you know you have a religious exemption and then I did bring up Jesus Christ, that you have authority, that man does not have authority over you as long as you make him Lord in your life. And again, you know, you never know what seeds take. You never know what others will um, recall when they have a conversation with you. <clears throat> you pray that the Lord has mercy upon other people and that they will remember. So as my ex was talking about um, being a little concerned or worried about um, what's coming, I, I expressed to him that I am not in fear at all. I have no fear. You know, we were talking about how the possibility of, you know, not too long ago they were doing the 2020 census and they were having people come door to door. Um, I knew that was a prelude to something. <clears throat> you know, I, I had um, the attitude uh, that it's none of their business who lives in my house, how many people reside here. But once they came to my house the third time, when I had not filled out the census still, it was apparent that they were going to get the information they wanted to um, get. So I finally filled out the census, and I, I know that that was a prelude to, you know, I there's no doubt that there probably is going to be people coming to your door and asking if you have received the injection. And again, I I have no fear. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm also not concerned that the Lord will help me speak and say what I need to say if we're even here for that. I know that those of you who actually have his Holy Spirit, you feel that, you know, time is up. Time is up. We're not going to be here many years down the road. And, you know, I don't believe in the rapture the way other people <clears throat> describe it. Rapture just means born again in Christ. The Lord already saved me from the darkness. The Lord already um, saved me from the lies and opened up my eyes. And I'm not going to conform to this world. 
and again I don't know how it's gonna play out and don't don't believe anyone who says that they do okay just trust in the Lord and let the Lord lead the way and be your shepherd I love you and God bless